Bobby Fischer. The name goes hand in hand with the game of chess to most Americans. Bobby Fischer, born in Chicago in 1943, is almost certainly the most famous chess player ever. You ask virtually any random person to name a chess player, the chance is very high that they will say Bobby Fischer. A chess prodigy, Fischer showed skill from a very early age. At the age of 13, he won a brilliancy, which is a game that's considered a spectacular and beautiful strategic idea. That particular game became known as the game of the century. Then at the age of 14, Fischer played in eight United States championships, winning every one of them. At 15, Fischer became the youngest grandmaster ever, the youngest U.S. champion ever, and the youngest candidate for the world championship. Despite winning several awards and recognition for his high IQ, Fischer ended up dropping out of high school when he turned 16. Through the 60s, Fischer competed at the very top level but each world championship seemed to pass him by without him qualifying. He was very argumentative, even at that young age, and his various disputes with organizers in a period of semi-retirement due to his bitterness over some things in the chess world kept him sidelined. In 1970, though, he stormed his way to the world championship match, beating both Larsen and Taimanov, two very strong players with perfect scores Badly defeating the ex world champion Petrosian. So at the age of 29, Bobby finally earned the right to challenge Boris Spassky for the world chess title.